Hi everyone, um, it's Michelle here again and I just wanted to show you um, how I mount my stamps when they arrive in the clear mount version. So this is what they would look like if they arrive with you. You get a DVD box, it tells you the name of the stamp set, it tells you the actual stamps inside and shows an image here. It also tells you on the front how many stamps are inside and even the order code if you need that. So basically you just open it up and inside you receive the, the, the sticker sheet and then you will receive the actual um, rubber with the, the stamps. Now this is the self-assembly part and what I tend to do, I just want to show you how I do this. What I do is I go for the obvious ones and I peel off the backing and the reason I do that first is that it makes a, a big color difference. It makes it obvious to me where the difference is and it creates a contrast. So peel off the corresponding stamp that you know will fit um, when you bend it, you will see that it is slipped somewhere, which makes it really easy to peel the backing off. So peel the backing off. And then because you have a contrast in colour, I find it's much easier to line up where your, your um, label is going to go on the back of your stamps. Now, lay that down. And because we've had the we can see the difference. I have managed not to overlap it. If for any reason that wasn't right, you can peel it back. Let me see if I can do this with no nails. You can peel the sticker back and reposition it. It's important to get it in the right place because once it's in the right place, it's really important not to have any ripples or bumps in that label on the back of the stamp. The reason for that is if you have any ripples or bumps, when you go to stick that on your clear block, that's not going to stick very well. So what, I'm going to just continue to do all of these. So if I peel this one off, that one actually says in reverse, happy birthday. So I know that this, this label, the happy birthday, look for the little slit, peel off the backing. Okay, now I always check, so my H is here. Okay, so I know that my happy birthday has to go on here. Because I find it really easy to stick my labels on, because I have the contrast between the two colours. I'm going to steal the back of that one. not making a great job in peeling the backs off, am I? It's okay. This is real life. This is me showing you how easy it is to get it off, even if you don't get it off in one fell swoop. Then that one says best dad ever, and the B is this end. Okay, so I'm going to get best dad ever. I'm going to peel off the backing. Do you remember I said the B was this end? So, see how easy that would be to put that on the wrong way up. I have done that before. Just know that any any mistake that could be made, I've done. <laughs> that makes you feel any happier. Then we're going to take off this long sticker. I'm not having much joy. Yay! I finally got one off. That one obviously is Happy Father's Day. So I'm going H is this end. So I'm going to peel off the sticker. Find the little crack. The little crease. And and peel off the backing. Try and do it in one action, not like me. So I'm just going to check again. H is here. Try and have a nice flat surface to stick your labels on. Okay, and then the last one is here. I'm going to peel this one off, and that says thinking of you. The thinking of you is here at this end. Okay, so I'm going to get this stuck down. Then what I do is I will now peel the whole backing piece off. I don't want to do that to start off with because then you wouldn't have the contrast between the backing and the actual um, label section. So if I peel all of that off, then what I do is I press it into my clear block. I find then that that wants to stick to my clear um, case, which will hold them for me. It also, if for example I'd been crafting and I'd used this stamp and I'd left it behind, 
really clear to me that I have one missing. So I have um, I have the relief so that I know that all my stamps are together. It also means that my individual stamps don't fall down into the corner of the box and are liable to fall out or slip out if the box was to open. So this just for me is the best way of mounting your clear stamps. I really hope that that helps someone and thanks for watching.